Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I'm out at Dedication Point uh, out on the Snake River Canyon, uh, just down from the Swan Falls Dam. And uh, I've got a drone that I haven't flown in quite a while. Uh, I've got the DJI Mini 2 SE, or in my case, as you can see here, the DeMarco Mini 2 SE, named after my friend DeMarco Moore. Uh, but in any case, uh, this is such an elegant little product and I, I can't remember if I've ever flown it out here at the canyon before and as you guys know this is one of my favorite places to put a drone up and and take a look at the canyon and uh, and what's going on and it's a beautiful spring day it's a Wednesday afternoon in the high 60s very little wind so just a beautiful time to be out and look at some of the sights so uh, yeah uh, let's quit messing around Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, I've got a screen recorder started and as you guys can see, the drone is <clears throat> sitting on the pad. Uh, let's take a quick look at that safety menu here. It's already got 14 satellites, uh, uh, doesn't take long. Now, what always throws me when I fire up this drone is it doesn't have any kind of obstacle avoidance, so there's none of that stuff to look at, but uh, max altitude, max legal, 120 meters. We've got the return to home altitude set at 35 meters, which is more than enough for where we're at here. And uh, yeah, the uh, compass is normal, the IMU is normal. Take a quick look at the battery, that's good, uh, as I would hope. And uh, this drone max resolution, video resolution is four, is, excuse me, I almost said 4K, 2.7K, 30 frames per second. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start recording and yeah, nothing else to do but uh, take off. So let me take a look to make sure you've got a view of it on the, uh, on the action camera here, and you sure do. So, uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, and we're gonna do an automated takeoff on the controller. We are in normal mode. Hit that button and off it goes. So let's, uh, this, this drone doesn't do any kind of precision landing, so I'm not gonna worry about uh, taking it up seven meters. I'm used to doing that. I almost said, ah, I'm going to take it up seven meters. But yeah, no, there's no point in doing that with this guy. Okay, I'm going to drop that, uh, that camera down just a little bit. And uh, it's time for our droney. We're going to kind of go over the top of a little point here before we go out over the canyon. So here we go, uh, reversing up, reversing up now. And we're going to slowly rise as we go back there. Kind of gives us a dramatic view, and you can see where I'm standing at Dedication Point, and there you can see out over the edge of the canyon. We'll just uh, we'll just stay hard on that uh, on that re reverse stick. We're up about 26 meters high, and uh, yeah, you can see the canyon off to the uh, off to the right hand side there. Let's go ahead and head out over. So, boom, there we go, straight out over the canyon. I always think this is a dramatic look. I always like to point the camera down as we go over the edge because it's a long ways down there. So let's kind of ease our way over the edge. Drop that camera down as we go. Look at that. Straight down. So let's pick the camera back up and uh, yeah, back out over the... Uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Snake River right there. Snake River Canyon. And uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll just head... Uh, well, it's, I guess it would be kind of uh, southwest a little bit, or anyway, towards the, uh, s uh, the uh, Swan Falls Dam. So just heading that direction here. Pick up that camera just a tad more. And what we'll do here in a second, if we get the opportunity, is uh, we'll go down uh, in the canyon itself. And... Uh, uh, you know, drop, in other words, not me, but the drone. Drop the drone down into the canyon. And I've kind of got to be standing on the edge to, uh, to do that. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to walk that way. I'm going to stand kind of uh, on the fence here, uh, the uh, rock wall on the edge of the canyon so that you can see, uh, so that I can, excuse me, have direct line of sight to the, uh, to the drone. And it's just beautiful. Uh, you know, it's not often that you see uh, this time of year is when you see it this green. And if you look off in the distance there, 
That is the Swan Falls Dam. And I've talked about it before in my videos, but that dam was built in right about 1900. It was built uh, to provide power to the silver mines uh, up in uh, the Oahe Mountains, Silver City. That was its reason to be. And, and the old part of the dam that was built back then is, is set up as kind of a museum now. It's not kind of, it is set up as a museum. The only time you can get in there is in the summertime and I think on Mondays only. Uh, but if you're ever in this area and you get a chance, it's fascinating to see that uh, turn of the century technology, which was very high tech back then. And of course, now, uh, the new part of the dam, I think was, I think, I'm trying to remember what date it went live. I th it was in 1990 or maybe even later than that. And, and it is a, just a very tiny little thing compared to, uh, compared to uh, uh, the old part of the dam and puts out something like 10 times more power. I mean, it's, in, it's insane. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look at the side of the canyon itself here. Lots of ravens flying around today. The, the, uh, there are a ton of ravens that live in the side of the, uh, in the side of the canyon here. And it's always fun to, to watch them chasing each other around. So yeah, let's just go back over the edge of the canyon here and take, and so kind of give you guys a look. I, I think one of the best views that we can do is right along the edge of the canyon. And again, you know, this is a, this is a drone. Uh, there's no obstacle avoidance. Uh, it is a, uh, we're only shooting in 2.7 K, uh, but I would put the 2.7 K on this little drone up against uh, a lot, uh, of other drones 4k footage in that they they just do a really good job of uh, uh, well here's what I'm gonna say I think some drones and I'm not gonna name names I think they uh, what are we looking at here I don't even I'm trying to figure out what this is down here uh, you know I'm just looking at my little uh, my phone so what am I looking at here Yeah, looks like, whoops, let's not go too, go down too fast. So, so again, I'm just looking at my phone screen, and I guess it's just a pile of rocks. I don't know. Anyway, it was kind of interesting. So let's pick that camera back up and uh, continue on down the side of the uh, canyon. And this, uh, I believe I'm at the spot. Yeah, so if you look here. This is a trail that goes down the edge of the canyon, and I've seen people hiking this trail many times. Uh, I don't think it's anything I will ever do, simply because, uh, yeah, one slip and it's a long ways down. But, but that, but you, it, it just uh, kind of slowly goes down the uh, the canyon wall, and you end up in the floor of the canyon if you if you hike down that trail. I used to see a guy with his dog hike down that all the time. So. Uh, kind of fascinating and like I said I think one of the best views of the canyon here is always with uh, uh, you know close to the edge and I am looking here I am looking for the uh, you know I've shown it to you guys many times the uh, the, the arrow that points towards Boise uh, that was used by the uh, the airmail, and there's a lot of things going on here because they uh, they they cut some fire uh, fire breaks here. They burnt off a lot of this last year in order to kill the cheat grass, uh, and then and then I think they've replanted it. In fact, if I can, I'll show you where the planters are at. But I am looking for that. Uh, well, in fact, let me grab some altitude. Might be easier for me to spot it. There, I think I see it over there. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and this is, uh, again, this was a, uh, let me pick up the camera. It's kind of in the center of the screen here. There, 
last year we had a lot of rains last fall and it and it kind of uh, this used to stand out a lot more because the rocks were a lot darker uh, but now it's uh, you know as that water washed over it made it kind of muddy uh, but uh, yeah so let's see what we can see here so that is just kind of a I always call it a compass but it is uh, it, it points towards Boise and it was originally built uh, for the uh, the airmail planes to find their way uh, towards Boise, and then there's been a lot of uh, a lot of uh, rock work done here uh, since then. <laughs> so you can see uh, you can see this uh, little love letter right here. Let me back it up here. Yeah, and there's been there's been some stuff going on here. I see some. Uh, I see some rocks have been moved around since the last time I looked here. Uh, this up, up on top here, there were some there were some hearts there earlier. So something different now. Anyway, enough of that. You're not here to see that. Let's uh, let's head back over the side of the canyon. We're down to 60% battery. What I always forget about this particular drone is that it does not have the uh, it doesn't have the battery life uh, you know I'm like if I'm flying the the mini 4 pro or something holy cow you know you can fly for uh, 40 minutes uh, we've been in the air for about 10 minutes now so I'm dropping as fast as I can we're at negative altitude I want to get you down into the canyon here uh, and where I'm standing here on the wall I have a direct shot at the drone so it's coming right towards us here and and uh, yeah, let's kind of move sideways here. It's uh, it's so nice and green down here in the in the uh, in the canyon. And this time of year is when you see that it, you know, in the summertime it gets pretty brown, but uh, but this time of year uh, it it definitely greens up. Let's see if we can get down a little bit lower. We're over the water now, so we can get this guy down pretty low. I think we are. Uh, <laughs> 113 meters negative altitude. Let me go, and it's, the drone's almost right in front of me here. 116 meters negative altitude into the canyon here. So that'll tell you how far it is to the bottom of the canyon. So, yeah. And I'm going to kind of slowly turn around here. Like I said, the drone is about directly in front of me. And I'm getting a little bit of break up on FPV, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna grab some altitude. I'm starting to get some breakup, and I don't like that. So, uh, on my on my FPV screen. Uh, but what I wanted to show you was uh, was where we're at in the uh, the the uh, on uh, dedication point here. So that's unusual. I uh, I have not seen that kind of uh, that kind of phenomenon on, on this drone on my on the left side of my screen. We started to get some breakup on FPV, and I'm pretty much looking, you know what, I'm going to move to another spot here and see if I can get a more direct shot. But I think because it's so far, and this is OcuSync 2 on this drone, yeah, I don't know. I definitely uh, definitely have some anomalies on FPV, but we're, we're, uh, we're, we're almost, uh, let's see, yeah, we are in positive altitude now, so I don't know. I'm not liking this. I'm going to, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring it back. We're going to grab some more altitude and we're going to come right over the edge and see what I can see here. Yeah, I mean, my FPV screen is all fouled up. I don't know what's going on. And we are definitely uh, not very far away, so that shouldn't be. So I don't know what that is, but I'll tell you what, uh, as they say, discretion is the better, better part of valor. This is fascinating. I have, you look at my screen, look at how the weird colors and stuff on there. And I just checked my cables, they're completely plugged in. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna hit return to home on the controller. And the drone is uh, 49 meters positive altitude and coming right back to us. Yeah, 
And you know, I, I it's weird. I just have a, a very uh, mottled look on the FPV screen. Not sure what that's about. It started on the uh, on the left side and then uh, and then and then came down. So there you can kind of see. Uh, you know, I'm going to show you the FPV screen. I can see where I'm at here, uh, but boy, it is really a mess. I'm going to. Well, now's not the time. I was going to unplug and plug back in, but uh, yeah, that was interesting. I'm not sure. It, it sure didn't have to do with connection. There's just something got fouled up and we're at 42% battery there too. So that is fascinating. So we'll pause as it, uh, as it comes down here and we'll see if we can land it on the pad. I need to fire up my Action 2 camera here so you can see it. Got that Action 2 camera fired up and I'm gonna hit pause and uh, you turn the drone around. It's it's just a little bit in front of the pad. Let's see if we can, let's put it in cinema mode. Bring it back over the pad here. See if we can get it right over the top of the pad. That's pretty close. Yeah, and we're gonna hit straight down on that left stick and see if we can hit that pad right on. So straight down. And it'll pick up the camera as it uh, as it lands here. And it was a little, it's kind of slid off the pad there a little bit. Uh, you know, that is fascinating. Uh, anyway, let me, uh, let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. And, and look, my FPV screen is back now. The colors are fine. That was really weird. Anyway, uh, let me get it all shut down. Hey, okay, the little uh, DJI Mini 2 SE. Uh, that was a lot of fun, and uh, you know the main point of this flight is I, I don't think I've ever flown it out here at Dedication Point before, and I just wanted to show you how capable this little guy is. Now the only thing that was kind of weird is at the very end there I was getting down low, way low into the canyon, and the colors got all weird on my FPV screen modeled. It was strange. I'll be honest with you, I've never seen that, and this is an OcuSync 2 drone, so. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what caused that, but uh, it's just worth noting because one of the things that I brag about on this drone is how good the connection is. You know, as opposed to other drones, uh, bargain drones that are in the same price range, they tend to have a lot more connection problems. And again, you know, control connection, it was perfect. Uh, you know, but there were times that it was kind of hard to see uh, what was going on there. So, uh, so that was that was interesting. It, what was weird is. Once it came back down here and landed, boom, all that, all those, that weird coloring and weird stuff stopped. So I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, but, uh, but it was a good flight and you guys got to see the canyon on a beautiful day. And you know, that little uh, FPV problem aside, uh, man, I love this little drone. And for 300 bucks, holy cow, what a bargain. And you, you're able to get the kind of views that, that we saw today. Uh, just a beautiful day out here and a beautiful day to be out flying. I'm glad you guys got to see it when it's nice and green. So uh, anyway, that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I so appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, we're going to see you on the next one. The uh, DJI Mini 2 SE.